military weapons. Hello and welcome back for another great video. Be sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on for more in the future. Polaris rolled out its ground robot, the MRZRX, the first optionally manned and hybrid powered vehicle currently in the running for the US Army's competition for an unmanned equipment transport vehicle at the Association of Unmanned Vehicle Systems International Conference. The MRZRX was developed by a team of Polaris, ARA, and NIA systems and is 90% common with Polaris's MRZR platform, the difference being a hybrid electric drive system and the robotic systems. There are several thousand militarized manned MRZR platforms operating in 30 countries and so the company is hoping to sell the MRZRXs for export as well. As for its design, while ground robots in this category can be quite similar, what sets the MRZRX apart is its ability to be optionally manned. The vehicle was built using Polaris's current D4 platform that's preferred platform among Special Operations Forces and the Marine Corps for their ultralight mobility. To transform the D4 into the MRZRX, Polaris installed an export power system which is one of the requirements for SMET. Power can be generated through the vehicle while it's moving at a lower rate and at a higher rate when stopped. The D4 and D2 variants are pure diesel, and the MRZRX is Polaris's first hybrid vehicle, which provides extended range and the power export capability. Polaris also designed the vehicle to be modular, and for now, the SMET requirement is to use a remote control to guide the vehicle. But further down the road, Polaris does anticipate the Army wanting to develop more capabilities using teleoperated means and leader follower technology. The four chosen companies are supposed to build 20 SMET platforms each that will be issued to two infantry brigade combat systems in order to be tested and analyzed for their utility in the field. As of yet, the program is currently stalled due to multiple congressional mandated continuing resolutions that fund the government at the previous year's spending levels, which mean that programs are scheduled to start using the fiscal year of 2018 funding like SMET can't do right now. The deadline to reach a budget deal or extend the CR was this past February. As always, be sure to be subscribed and have your notifications turned on. Like this video and leave a comment below to get more in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.